Please check it. Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. There is title screen music. Look, it's version 0.17.1. Yay. Let's go to here. Oh, and the music just cut. Whatever. Whatever. Anyhow, there's been this challenge to uh, work on making a carrier, right? So, this is my carrier that I've been working on. Let's see, have the physics loaded yet? I, I can't tell. The stage indicator is green, but it's not flashing. So, does that mean it's loaded? Oh, apparently that means it's loaded already. Alright. Anyhow, as you can see, I am now moving out to sea at a blazing speed of 2.7.8.9, 3 meters per second, 3.1. Hey, it keeps accelerating. That's a good thing, right? Um, the design of this thing, you can barely see under here. It's a bunch of these fuel tanks down the center. The sides are just structural. And there's engines at the back, which are now underwater. That have to use intake power to get enough airflow. Yeah. Ooh, I can't wait for the next update, because you actually have to have intakes. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Uh, so, yeah. Here's... Um, I know this isn't the actual carrier challenge. I don't know if it's still there. Nope, I took it out. There was another carrier over here that was that was a very similar design that was uh, that I was trying to land a very small plane on. Instead, because I was failing so badly, for for the meantime, for right now, I'm going to uh, just take off from one instead. Now, the question I'm asking myself now is. Should I detach while this thing's powered and have it keep going, or should I turn it off and then go? Because if I turn it off and then go, well, I can't start it again. But if I don't turn it off, I I don't know. Eh, I decided. Oh, whoa, whoa! Did it break from that? Oh, shit! Take off! Take off! Everything broke, mostly. Should try that again. Let's see, uh, F9? Oh, hold F9. Okay, I'm holding it. Oh no, that put me back on the runway. No, uh, I'm back on the runway. Well, I guess you'll get to see me drive this thing out from uh, the cockpit view, right? Uh, let's see. Full power. Good. Oh. Let's see if I isn't it double click somewhere? Nope. Come on, come on, give me the front view. Okay. There we go, I'm centered again. Now I can zoom in. Or I can go back to this. What is that? What? Debris? How are there debris out there? Oh yeah, I'm going pretty fast. Oh, this could end badly. didn't explode. Last time it exploded. Right, I'm gonna put this one up and these ones up. And I'm gonna dodge that debris, I think. I'm gonna try to anyhow. We're still going pretty fast. Let me, oh, let me slow it down. Oh god, don't hit the water this fast. Oh, there we go. We came to a sand still. Oh, Okay, now just gently enter the water. I say gently. I say gently, but that wasn't particularly gentle. Are these parts from what I just tried to do? Yes, they are. Why are they out here? I mean, I did a reload. They shouldn't be out here, should they? Well, uh, they're kind of making my game lag. That's that's the annoying thing about this. The annoying then, the annoying thing. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, this time I'm gonna try and go from a standstill. So, oh, looks like that other landing gear over there. I thought it'd ra bleh, raise in pairs, you know. 
but apparently not. Now let's see, if I hit G, it should open all three of those while closing the bottom ones. Yes it is, yay. Also, it, three frames per second is not a good frame rate. Right, I need to fix this, BRB. So I turned off debris. Hopefully this carrier will stay intact when I detach from it, but uh, otherwise, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna physics time warp and see if this thing holds together under that. Yay, it does. So yeah, you can have a uh, very slow uh, uh, em embark, embarkment, I don't know. We're, we're leaving, we're leaving, that's all. And you can turn it. Turns quite well, actually. Although it seems to like to list to the side a little bit. That's annoying. And there's smoke everywhere. Alright, well... Okay, time more back to normal. Okay. Right. Let's hope this doesn't break. Okay. So good, so far. Okay, we dropped that other connector. Oh god, we're slipping! Oh god! We almost took off. Almost. That thing is just... They're just going on a cruise. Right. Isn't that how you... Isn't that how you... How do you change focus to debris? I thought you, like, clicked on it or something. Eh, whatever. Well, we almost took off. And actually, this thing, if I... If I had, um... If I had engines on this, uh, or one engine, it might not handle this too so well, but if I had engines on this, it would still fly. This thing can fly with most of its wings destroyed. Now to show you my actual carrier attempt, this is the carrier, which I kind of forgot to mention has a bit of an issue getting on the runway, actually. Um, yeah, let me just... Come on, get, get out of there! Hmm, I guess this serves as an engine test, right? And a flexibility test, right? But anyhow, let's cut those engines. This is how I got up here last time. I don't know if it'll work because that last bit of landing gear is stuck. But I uh, put the landing gear up. Then I throttled up a little bit and put the landing gear back down and hoped everything didn't break. That doesn't seem to be working too well this time, though. Ah, oh, what's the worst that could happen? We could explode. Oh, or we could lose uh, a significant portion of the vehicle. Let's look at this from the cockpit. Yep. We're flying at a great speed here. Oh, something else just blew up. Oh, something else just blew up. Yeah, I think we should stop now. Well, anyhow, if I could ever get that carrier somewhere, this was what I was trying to land on it. Basically, the idea behind this craft is time warp. Uh, let me just cycle the daytime, because... There we go, now you can see everything better. Okay, the idea behind this craft is, since docking isn't in yet, I don't have docking, but later we can put a docking thing on the front of it, and then I could redesign the carrier, if I could ever get the carrier and this thing to work, uh, we, could redes we could have a docking clamp on the carrier, so this tank could be refueled from the carrier. First of all, I use this small, really heavy tank, so that it has a lot of fuel. So basically, this thing should technically have a good range you know, and uh, let me show you, it takes off pretty easily, 
there we go we're already up and its landing speed at, at a minimum is I think like 20 meters per second are my landing gear up yes they are okay that's that's a bit of an issue but uh, let me see if I can just bleed off a bunch of speed or go up either one works really let me see now we're going about 20 meters per second we're actually not we're actually falling a bit faster now but if you do it right you can land this thing at 20 meters per second not saying it's easy but it's doable and oh I, I'm not doing so good at it uh, for one thing we're going up it's never a good thing when you're trying to go down going up is not a good thing when you're trying to go down I'm actually watching this uh, vertical speed meter on the top now it's something I should have been recommending people do when they're having issues uh, landing and whatnot but I never thought to mention it because um, I never used it before but it basically it tells you your vertical speed so you can actually find out instead of having to uh, gauge your vertical speed based off of your surface speed and this little indicator down here on the nav ball so yeah I should have been telling people to look at that but I haven't and, uh, now that I realize that's there and it works quite well I uh, I should start telling people about it when I make plane videos about designing planes which I will do at some point but also you can see this thing is very easy to fly very controllable the only problem with it, the only there's a little bit of a problem with it. If you try to yaw, it just rolls. It doesn't yaw, it just rolls. That vertical stabilizer, I really should just replace it with a, a wing piece, not a uh, controllable piece, because it really doesn't help the stability at all. Speaking of which, of, it's being really unstable right now, and I'm not sure why. Normally, it's very stable. I don't know why it was being unstable just then. Um, Anyhow, you can see it's a very small craft, it's very maneuverable, it has a, a low takeoff speed, a low takeoff, uh, like, how, how far it needs to take off. For some reason, it's really liking the roll right now, I don't know why it's doing that. It also has four wheels. Um, the first design of this is literally the same, except it has two wheels, on, it has one wheel on the front, like a traditional tri thing for aircraft, but, um... But yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it doing that again? I don't know. I don't know what's up with it today, right now, but I swear I've never had this problem. Like, you see the problem I'm having with it rolling right now? I didn't even have that problem a minute ago when I was flying it the first time. Before I landed, I didn't even have that problem. I mean, what the hell? Oh well, game's weird sometimes.